have a beautiful spaghetti squash in your delivery. And I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious stuffed spaghetti squash recipe. So why don't we get started? Start by preheating your oven to 380. We're gonna score the spaghetti squash because we're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes in the oven. So what you wanna do is just put small slits with your paring knife into the spaghetti squash. Put the scored spaghetti squash into a pan. Now place this in the oven for about 45 minutes. Start by dicing your onion. Cut it in half, peel it. And to dice your onion, just go and slice through the grooves like that and keep the end of the onion attached because it makes it easier for you to dice. Put a slit through the middle and just let your knife just do the work and dice. You have a beautiful head of garlic, so get a couple of cloves. Just crush it and just slice it first. Heat your pan, make sure you let it heat for at least a minute on medium heat. Then drizzle some olive oil. Get your onion and garlic right into the pan. Give it a quick mix. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for a couple minutes, then chop up the rest of the vegetables. I'm gonna dice the pepper first. You have a beautiful green pepper. Make sure you cut the end off, stand it like that. You have a couple of tomatoes, make sure you dice one. I'm gonna use about half of a carrot, so make sure you peel. Add the tomato pieces and the green bell peppers right into the pan. Make sure to season. So I'm using salt, pepper. For seasoning, I'm using oregano today. You can use any of your favorite spices into this recipe. Cover this with the lid and let this cook for a couple of minutes on medium heat. Today I'm gonna to be using ground beef in this recipe. You can use ground turkey, diced chicken, or you can even use cooked quinoa if you like. So place that right in the middle and let this meat cook for a couple of minutes. And you wanna start seasoning a little bit as well. Salt and pepper. Okay, so the spaghetti squash has been cooking for about 40 to 45 minutes. You wanna take this out and what we're gonna do is slice it in half and then remove the seeds. All right, now that the stuffing is all done, what I'm gonna do is throw in the carrot strips right at the end because all I want them to do is just lightly wilt. Mix. Now you just wanna take the stuffing, place it right on top. Gonna be using feta cheese. You can use Parmesan, cheddar, whatever kind of cheese that you like in your recipe. And you can bake this for another five minutes if you like, but I'm gonna serve it just like this. And I hope you guys enjoy this delicious recipe that I created this week.